Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom, bring you guys another video. Guys, I'm I'm thinking about switching up my intro because I see a lot of the comments and people are saying, yo, Motion, what are you even saying in the intro? Because I say it extremely fast. I've been doing it for so long that I literally just bunch it all in. I'm basically saying, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Motion, bringing you guys another video. So I'm going to switch it up. So how does this sound? What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Motion, bringing you guys another video where I actually space it out. And I don't say, I don't know. Actually, that sounds the exact. Never mind. Let's just get to the video. So in today's video, we're going to show you guys how to complete all of week six challenges in under 60 minutes. You guys, this is going to be extremely quick. You guys can actually do this within 40, 30 to 45 minutes if you do it right. Now, a lot of you guys out there are so close to getting the Omega in the season four battle pass. So we're already in week six challenges and it's coming close to an end. So a lot of people are trying to complete these challenges so that way they can actually get the Omega skin before time is too late. So that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's videos. We're going to show you guys exactly the best way to complete all the week six challenges in under 60 minutes so we're gonna start off with the one that i ended up doing first which was spray over different carbide or omega posters located on the map you guys now we had to do this seven times now on screen right now is an image of every location for the posters you guys there's actually more than just these locations but these are the ones that i ended up going to i basically looked at fortnite intel's image and map and it showed me all the locations that i need to go to so i started off with the ones that were really close to each other i hit the ones at the shipment factory then i went to the one under the bridge by uh tomato town then i pushed up towards dusty divot and i hit that one and then after that i think i went to the one in the bridge at the bottom and i just hit them in a row you literally try to hit as many as you can in one game that's all you're focusing on you're trying to take launch pads you're trying to do whatever you can to basically go to these locations now the thing that sucked about me is i didn't know the exact location so i spent probably a few minutes looking for them so in this video in the background playing right now is every single location that you guys need to know now sometimes some of them are going to be hard to find because a lot of people like you saw on the mountain they spray painted over it completely so you can't even see the poster anymore at that point but if you need to all you have to do is just rewind watch this video because i show you guys where each of the locations are of the posters on the gameplay you guys so not just you look at the mini map if you get there you can actually easily find it instantly instead of looking around the entire building trying to find one poster now i'll show you a picture again on screen of each location so one we have at motels we have one in the witch house over by pleasant park we have one at the crates on the far right and then over at the top of it there's under the bridge you guys saw that in the gameplay dusty divot there's one next to the mountain or actually on top of the mountain one's in tilted towers one's at the bridge one's at the disco party and one one is at the prison you guys those are all the locations that you need to know there's more on the map so if you guys do find other ones make sure to spray paint that just so that way you can knock it out even quicker next challenge that we're going to cover is probably the hardest one that's probably it's not the hardest one but it took the most time just because you're literally landing opening up one chest dying and sometimes you don't get there quicker than anyone else so this one is search chest in loot lake guys there's a lot of chests in loot lake but because this challenge has just dropped and there's a lot of people going there trying to do it the best that you're going to be able to do is land get one chest and then you're probably going to end up dying sometimes you guys are actually going to see in the background playing right now you're going to see that i die without even getting a single chest so it does suck sometimes you're going to die a lot that's probably the one that's going to take the most time out of your challenges um just because again you're only getting one chest you're dying then you're trying to find another lobby and you're doing it over and over again the best tip the best suggestion that i have for you guys is to try to get the one on the roof of loot lake that is there's always one there see sometimes Sometimes it sucks because sometimes there's chests that aren't there and every single time I landed at the roof on top of Loot Lake, I promise you every single time there was a chest there and I was able to open up before anyone else. So the best tip that I have for you guys is landing on top of the roof and then the second best tip is how you land because you're supposed to get there quicker than anyone else. So you want to try to make sure that you open up your parachute at the lowest point of elevation so basically like inside a dusty divot you know how it's like really low if you open up your chute over around that area you're gonna get a bad drop you got to try to do it somewhere like in the rivers or in the water or something like that just don't do it on top of a mountain because you're gonna be spawning really far from the place just practice on getting a perfect drop so that way you're getting to the roof before anyone else if you're if you're opening up your chute way too high there's no way you're gonna get it in time especially at the start of the the challenges because a lot of people are getting there with better drops than 
you they're able to drop quicker than you so that means they're getting the chest before you so again like i said you're only going to be able to open up one chest and then every because it's so packed right now at this point that you're only going to get one chest then you got to basically kill yourself uh just jump off the map let someone kill you it doesn't matter it's up to you just that's how you guys complete it extremely quick again i did this in under an hour you guys under 60 minutes i was able to complete all these challenges that's because once i found a chest i literally killed myself right away so that way i'm not wasting all my time literally trying to find more chests that are already open if you just run around the map you're gonna notice every single chest is open because they get opened up instantly and you'd rather just kill yourself rather than trying to find win the game because there's no way you're gonna end up winning the game at loot lake with everyone else getting all the loot and how many people spawn there it is going to be extremely hard the next challenge i ended up completing was a search between a playground campsite and a footprint this one took a little bit of time but again with this video you're going to be able to literally land pick it up kill yourself and try to get into another match you guys on screen right now is an image of where you can actually find this location at it is to the left of greasy grove right below the mountain you guys there's a little patch in the grass that you guys can see that's where the location is going to be that patch of grass is what you need to find it's very small um if you look at the big patch it's just to the top right of that keep in mind the only challenge that you're probably going to end up doing and dying right away is going to be search the chest in loot lake you're literally going to get a chest die get a chest die get a chest die but the other ones like spray paint the omega posters you can also try to get smg eliminations shotgun eliminations or damage and you could try to get retail row kills while you're doing those as well right now in the background playing you're gonna see me hijack this dude's card because i knew it i was like all right if i get a shopping cart i'm gonna be able to get it across the map a lot quicker so i literally bribed him i gave him something so that way he would jump off the shopping cart and pick it up while i jump on the shopping cart so i hijacked this dude's shopping cart and again shopping carts are very very good because they allow you to actually get around the map a lot quicker so you can literally go from one omega poster to the other omega poster in instant seconds because you're using a shopping cart and it's going to make you achieve these challenges a lot quicker so things like shopping carts launch pads uh impulse grenades anything that can get you around the map even faster is going to help out a lot you're going to be able to actually achieve a lot of these challenges quick so launch pads are probably the best thing like you saw right here i saw the supply job coming so i used a launch pad to get there as quick as i possibly can and it's okay to waste a launch pad to do that because as you can see here i got another launch pad in the supply job so i'm ready to find another one now the next challenge tip that i want to give you guys is smg eliminations you need three of these these ones people think are going to be hard because smgs in this game aren't the best in the world but here's a little technique as you guys can see i killed that guy with an ar and then i'm pushing him i'm playing by the way i'm playing 50 or 20 versus 20 because it makes it a lot easier so i knock this guy i end up pushing up on him and i finish him i eliminate him with the smg and it counts you don't have to knock the person with the smg you can literally knock him with a shotgun as long as you're finishing the person with an smg that is the best way to go you guys because the smgs aren't the best in the world uh sometimes you're gonna end up dying because people have shotguns or stuff like that so once you knock the person pull out the smg and finish them that way you can do this in squads duos 20 versus 20 blitz duos or anything like that but the best way to do it is not in a solo match you guys are going to see me achieve a lot of these challenges Challenges when I'm doing 20 versus 20 because one the loot drops a lot quicker So you're gonna see supply jobs come down a little bit faster So maybe you can actually get supply jobs quicker by doing that also when you're doing 20 versus 20 because the the loot is a little bit better in 20 versus 20 I thought, hey, maybe because I'm doing 20 versus 20 and the loot is better in that game mode that there's going to be more chest drops. So that way when I go to Loot Lake and stuff like that, there's actually going to be chests there instead of doing solos and only finding one chest and we're all fighting for that one chest. So that was my mindset is to do a 20 versus 20 a lot. And the next challenge we're going to cover is a shotgun damage to opponents, you guys. This is fairly easy for me. I literally, in the background playing right now, you're going to see me do all 2,000 damage to opponents with shotguns in literally one game. I literally rocked the double pump once you thirst somebody and you you knock them down make sure you go for headshots make sure you finish them off with a headshot as you guys saw right there i did 170 damage that counts even if the person is knocked and they're down finishing them off with the shotgun is still going to get you shotgun damage to an opponent so make sure you're playing 20 versus 20 so that way you knock people and you can also get an extra 170 damage just by thirsting the person and it makes it a lot easier as you guys can see right here i end up flanking a full team knock this girl i'm literally doing 200 damage to this person because they have full health full shield once i knock her nice headshot to do another 127 and i'm getting above people shotgunning them double pumping them knocking them and it's just very easy if you guys do this technique so you don't have to just do it 
on people that are standing up everyone that gets knocked it's also very good to do it there so again 20 versus 20 that is probably the best way to go so that way you can knock people and finish them that way the last challenge is probably one of the easiest ones that i ended up having to do because it's retail road now sadly i don't have gameplay of me doing it during the challenge week but i actually have footage of me getting kills at retail road so basically i just did a normal solo showdown game mode where it's quick a lot of people end up going to land at retail row and i just basically played the game normally you literally go to retail row you play it normally you try to do your best that you can at retail row sometimes you're going to be able to get three kills right away depending on your skill level like for me i did this in probably five minutes i landed retail row i ended up getting three kills and i killed myself instantly so that way i could just get it over with i have the challenges knocked out and it's that easy but with that being said you guys that is how you achieve all of week six challenges in under 60 minutes again it took me 40 to 45 minutes to actually do this and i didn't know where the posters was i spent most of my time actually trying to find the posters so that took up some time but because of this video you guys actually see the locations of every poster you see the location of the battle star you guys can actually use these tips and hopefully get the omega skin before it's too late guys this skin is probably the sexiest skins but with that being said the new flytrap skin is supposed to drop i believe today we're doing a giveaway on twitch you guys come hang out at the twitch live stream we ended up picking 20 people and we're going to be picking four winners out of that 20 so make sure to come to the live stream tonight we're gonna have a lot of fun and i'll see you guys there peace